Hello. Hello. Hi, sorry about that. Um, somebody showed a Tesla coil on this stage, I think it was on Friday, and it's fried half the video gear. So, um, yeah, it's a problem you only get EMF. We didn't actually know the Tesla coil was coming either, so that was interesting. Anyway, give me one second, I've got a beer. Um, right, hello. Um, should we do that a few more times? No, it is. <laughs> Right, so this, this is a light painting that was done by one of the youth workshops yesterday, and I really liked it, so I thought I'd put that up before we started. I think there was about 30 children all doing it simultaneously, and they managed to get almost the E and the 18, but the M's sort of weird. But, it is, but it's really good. Anyway, right, so... Uh, how do I do next on this? Here we go. Hello again. Uh, welcome to the beginning of the end, sadly. Oh... <laughs> You're so easy. <laughs> yeah. right. So, look, we want to go home as well, trust me. More than you do. <laughs> so, um, so, yeah, the entire EMF team, a lot of people are sat on the stage here. If there are any EMF core orga members who are in the room, please come to the front and sit on the stage if you can. You know the tradition by now. Um, <laughs> uh, Tim's there. He's there. It's all right, we've got people. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Um, so we really hope that you've enjoyed yourselves this year. It's been an extremely hard event for us, but it does seem like everyone's had a good time. Um, And to be honest, seeing you all enjoying yourselves makes it worthwhile for us. It it's, makes it, we got through all the pain. It's it, one thing, soon we get to not do it anymore. Um, we'd like to thank every single one of you who has contributed to the event, uh, either with talks, workshops, installations, building something weird on site, just helping out wherever you ha can, volunteering, all those people. Thank you so much. We couldn't have done this without you. The event would be just us here in a field and it wouldn't really work. So thank you so much for what you've done. Um, it means a lot to us that you put the effort in. This photo was taken by a drone um, that I'm not entirely sure should have been there, but, <laughs> uh, but this was taken on, Saturday, I think it was Saturday night, um, and you can see Null Sector in its full glory and the glowing down in the middle, and isn't it pretty? It's really good. This is not a satellite photo. The satellite photos we don't have yet, we'll hopefully get them in a few days, we don't know if they come out. We don't know if all the people who lay down in a giant wolf head are going to be visible from space. Wolf <laughs> A, a, yeah, well, multi-spectral imaging, it may have worked. So, <laughs> we will find out. Um, so, some numbers about EMF, because we've got a lot of numbers. There were 2,500 people in this field this year, which is a bit of an increase on last time. 2,500 people came to a thing that we did in a pub, and then you all turned up, and it's brilliant. So, it's, <laughs> like, really, it's brilliant. Um, we, I checked, and we have sent, I, I, have, I can only say at least, 3,545 emails to organize this event. Um, that's just the ones that are in our group accounts. It doesn't have my inbox, Russ's inbox, Will's inbox, or half the others, so it's probably more like 10,000 emails. And if you do the, do the maths on this, that means we spent basically two months of our lives sending emails. So it's, and it's not fun. Um, we have 96 stage legs that we didn't use because we can't level the stages, which is why I'm standing on an angle at the moment. So. <laughs> We had 120 talks and 74 workshops, plus all the ones that the villagers did. Thank you so much to the villagers for laying on the stuff. Like, that was amazing. <laughs> Our poor volunteers unloaded seven tons of chairs. So <laughs> which nobody likes doing, and yeah. Um, and we had 72, 72 tonnes of wastewater from the amazing toilets and showers, which I hope everyone enjoyed this year. <laughs> it took 40 minutes each day to sell out of t-shirts completely. So <laughs> we will be doing a second order of t-shirts, so there'll be a form to sign up for it. I know not everyone got one. Sorry, you all like the t-shirts, so we'll, we'll get more. Um, we have six kilowatts of smoke machines in Null Sector. <laughs> which has used 150 litres of smoke fluid so far. Uh, and over 400 kilograms of pro propane gas, mostly for cooking. And actually, no, it's not. Mostly for flamethrowers, a bit for cooking. Um, I believe that we have to get rid of quite a lot of it this evening as well. So they might just be on. 
<laughs> we have more flamethrowers, it's fine. You know, it's, uh, we have drunk 576 gallons of beer so far. So, Someone gave me that number, it was, it was Steve. Someone gave me gallons. It was out of date now, how many times is it now? It's over 600 gallons now, keep drinking the beer. So, we have raised 1,200 pounds for the Red Cross in the charity store down there. which is double what we raised last time, and it is not double the people, so you're obviously all a lot more generous. Thank you very much, the Red Cross thanks you. My laptop's turned off again. I am a professional. <laughs> right. Slightly closer to the mic. Uh, I mean, slightly closer to the mic. <laughs> right, uh, okay. Uh, we have had 18 satellite imaging passes. We have no idea if any of them have worked yet. So, <laughs> we'll find out soon. And we have over 100 watts of lasers on site. So. <laughs> Uh, but we can't find the key to turn them on, so there's no more lasers. But, you know, it's, uh, now, this was going to be a time lapse, but given I can't see that screen, I'm not going to make it play because it will take me like five minutes and everyone saw the opening ceremony, it will be a disaster. So imagine this is a lovely time lapse of the entire event so far, and we'll post it on Twitter afterwards to watch at your leisure. So, again, with the Tesla coils frying the equipment. Let's see. It, I don't think that's going to work. I don't think it's going to work if I do this. Hello. Oh. I've now... I can't actually see where my mouse pointer is. That was the worst game of Nightmare ever. <laughs> I told you. Yay! So, build up. You don't have anything to say, No, I didn't really prepare anything for this. Just, I like that everyone went silent though. Sort of reverence of the video. <laughs> And then, eventually, the tent companies show up. <laughs> not yet. No, not, not even yet. Here we go. Someone, have you been counting the days yet? Here we go. <laughs> Imagine being us sat in porter cabins when this was happening. <laughs> Oh! Yay! Way! Now that, that was like the last second. Yeah. The last second of that was 90% of the build up. Yeah. <laughs> and there we go. Okay, can I press next? Oh my God, it worked. Um, right. <laughs> right, so some of you will have been in the badge talk and you know what happened with the badges. We had a lot of production problems this year just due to timescales and things. Uh, I know not everyone got one. I know some people are a bit annoyed about that. Yes, under 12s do get badges. That was a miscommunication, so stop being angry about that. Um, we are going to do another production run of the rest of the boards we have lying around with a few more components. And we're gonna try and make sure that everyone who, who still wants a badge can get one. So please try not to be angry at us. We did our very best with it, but it's really hard to make mobile phones. So it's, um, we'll be in touch about this later on. Also, Ian Softley, the director of Hackers, has autographed a lot of broken badges. So if anyone wants a broken badge signed by Ian Softley instead of a working one, we can probably sort you out. So. We're all gone. I'll take that back, sorry. <laughs> but there's some very rare badges around, so you can, I don't know, swap them or something. Um, the Capture the Flag ran again this year. And we had 43 teams take part across the weekend, including one person who's played remotely from somewhere else on their own. I don't know who it is. Um, and we had 401 correct submissions to the, to the, the CTF. We had 507 wrong submissions. 
so, I mean, that's not great statistics, but well done. Um, <laughs> apparently, I was an item in the scavenger hunt again, and I didn't realise, again, and why people kept taking selfies. Um, <laughs> However, I'm pleased to announce the scoreboard, which I think is finalised. So, the first place team is Never Try. Are they here? <laughs> well done. Uh, there is the... Ooh, feedback. Uh, the ballet team came second. Oh, well done. Uh, and... <laughs> And the, the third place team was Grace Hopper's Posse. <laughs> who clearly win on name alone. Um, so the CTF team will be in touch about prizes. I'm not entirely sure what they are this year. Sorry about that. Uh, the team, we could not have done this without the, the organization team. There's a lot of people now. Um, we've been working on this for eight years across the events. And all the people sat on the stage are a fraction of the team. Some people are out now roving around in golf carts having fun. Um, <laughs> fun. Uh, all of these people here, can you all please stand up for a second? Or, or don't, all right, just put your hand in the air then. Or just sit there, whatever. <laughs> They've been working for two years to make this event happen. Um, people think we have a year off. We don't have a year off. We just start working again when this finishes. It takes a really long time to get all these play parts in place. However, hopefully if we do come back to this site, we'll be a bit easier next time, but we'll see. Um, everyone here is an unpaid volunteer. We do this for the fun of it, to make this happen for us and for you. And all of us buy our own tickets. We don't get anything out of this apart from a lot of work. So please, when you see these people around site, thank them for what they've done. Just go and shake their hand, buy them a drink if you can, that would be lovely, they'll really appreciate it. And tell them that the event was great, because they all need to hear it, they're all very sad at the moment. So it's... It, <laughs> Russ is not sad, don't tell him. Thank you very much. It's much appreciated. <laughs> I think that's the record for applause at the end of this, so very much appreciated by all of us. Um, and also, Russ and I would like to thank the entire team on a personal level because they've made what we were doing as a mad side project into something that is now 2,500 people, and they make it possible. We can't do it without them. So I'm going to make you, make you clap again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So, we also have to thank all the volunteers. Now, volunteering has been hard this year. We haven't had as many volunteers as we expected. I think it's mostly the new site. We weren't quite ready for it, and we're sorry that it didn't quite work as well as we expected. I still hope you enjoyed the amazing volunteer food, though, because that's amazing. Um, can everyone in the audience who volunteered, spoke, or in otherwise did something at the event, please put your arm in the air? That is a lot of people. <laughs> Thank you.
Thank you so much for what you did. It meant a lot, a lot to us. Um, and also, separately, we'd like to thank the volunteer catering team who turn up, cook amazing food for everyone, and basically never leave the tent the entire weekend. They are wonderful people. Finally, we have to thank the sponsors who made a lot of what we did here possible, um, both with the badge, the childcare, uh, many of the artworks that you saw everywhere, half of Null Sector, which was incredible. Um, they, they helped us pay for this to make it all work. Uh, a lot of them are in the audience right now, and all of the sponsors have been fantastic to work with this year. They've been really supportive. They've helped us out when we've had problems. Some of them dropped in at the last minute. Um, I'd like to make some special thanks to Lucid, who dropped in at the last minute to sponsor childcare when we had no one doing it. Um, I'd like to thank Texas Instruments and HCD for absolutely heroic work to make the badge happen. Uh, including t a <laughs> Texas Instruments flew people over just to work on the badge with us to get the firmware finished in time. Uh, they're, they're amazing. And I'd like to thank HCD for a very stressful week because they, they worked very hard to get the badges assembled in time as much as they could. Um, and also, we have to thank Line Microsystems for not telling us that we were completely crazy when we asked for a, uh, a GSM network in a field. And they were like, <laughs> they just went, yeah, that's fine. We'll build that. So, and then they built it for us. They're, they're lovely, lovely people. So thank you to them as well. So we want to talk a little bit about the future of EMF. We've been doing this for a while now. And it's obviously the team here can only go for so long. Um, this is the last one. It's not the last one. <laughs> so, yeah, it, we want the event to carry on for a long time. I want to be able to come to this event as an attendee and turn up and go, this is great, this is still working. Um, we're planning for this to be a slow handover of team members where we can, and we want all of you to be involved if possible. In the next year, we're going to be reforming the EMF organization so it's easier for people to get involved, so that there's less single points of failure on individual people, and trying to structure ourselves for the long run. Um, as part of this, Russ and I have decided that next year is the last event that Russ and I will be directing. We will still be involved in the organization, but we need to start handing over now, because if a bus hits us, it's quite bad right now. So we are looking for people to get involved and help the organization and help make this event run in the future. If that's you, we'd love to speak to you. Um, I know it's quite a daunting task, but it is absolutely worth it, and both of us will say that. Um, keep an eye out on your email. We'll be recruiting after this event is over and we've recovered, so probably January. So, <laughs> but, uh, but we are going to stay involved. Like, I don't think we can ever really walk away from this. There's stuff that we want to do and people we want to be involved with. So as part of that, uh, we are taking a leaf out of Burning Man's book. And we are starting events to get the community together between EMFs. Only social things, small things. But all over the country, we want to see groups of you getting together regularly between EMFs to keep the community going. Every two years is a long time. And we think it's important that people start building projects, collaborating with each other, and, and keeping the EMF community what it is. We hope that these will be the best way for you to get involved in the organization as well. So if you are interested in stepping up and getting involved with this, going to those meetings would be great. And we're looking for help organizing those around the country. The first one will be in London. We'll hopefully start in other cities after that. This will, may take a little while to get started because we're exhausted. But this is where we want to take it. And we hope that you'll get involved and come along. And of course, because we like puns, we're calling it electromagnetic pulse because it's a regular meeting. So. <laughs> We really need to gather feedback on what went well with this event and what didn't. So far, everyone just keeps praising us. And while that's lovely, we know some things didn't work out. We have an anonymous feedback form online. We would love you to submit your opinions, the things you think can be approved, uh, personal experiences. But also, do tell us nice things, because it's really horrible when you just read an endless feed of bad. Like, tell us the things that made you really happy, the stuff you want to see us do again, the things you'd like to see expanded. But also, do point out the stuff that we need to fix for next time. Uh, tents being a big one, the field being on an angle being the other, but that one's quite hard. So, 
it is quite likely that we will be coming back to this site. We can't say for certain yet, but we really like it here and it will help if we stay in the same place in the future. I have a quick request that's going out from requests from some people on site. Uh, if anyone is going to Trondheim in Norway, they, there is a missing person who is a friend of the organization. They've been missing since the 20th and we would really like to find them if we can. Um, there, is active, there are parties out searching for them at the moment. They were lost when they went hiking. And if anyone is going there, please do get in touch. We can tell you how to get in touch with those people. Um, and there is a Facebook page up there which will give you all the information you need. I know this is a bit of a downer at the end, but unfortunately we do have to do that. Um, and we have one more downer, which is quite sad. Um, we'd like to dedicate this EMF in memory of Dave Harvey, who was a speaker at EMF several times. Uh, and a constant supporter, he was sponsored. His whole family came to EMF every year, they loved it. Um, he was due to speak again this year, and then three weeks before the event, he passed away very suddenly. So we'd like to dedicate EMF 2018 to Dave Harvey. So. And the entire team would like to express our condolences to his family if they ever see this. Hopefully they'll watch. So 2020 is the next event. We likely will be coming back here. We may keep it the same size. We may not get bigger just because this year was so hard on us. We think it might be worth keeping a handle on what we know we can do. But we'll be back. The same team will be here, hopefully with some of you involved. And we're quite excited about it. The talks are over now. The workshops are finished. The installations are still running as long as they haven't been taken down. We've still got plenty of power, so the music's running, the flamethrowers are definitely running, <laughs> and we've got 200 kilograms of propane to burn. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your night here, and please drink all the beer in the bar. <laughs> I, how much beer do we have left, Steve? Plenty. He says plenty, so try your best. Every beer you buy... Every beer you buy helps with the deficit from the fact that we've got tents that we had to pay for that we weren't supposed to pay for. So please drink all the beer. But don't get too fucked and, and, and cause the first aid team. <laughs> how did they get to us? Please don't go to the first aid post. Like, we, we did, no, go if you're injured. If you're injured, definitely go, but otherwise, please try not to get injured. <laughs> so, thank you for coming. We'll see you again in two years. And if you see the organisation team around site, or you see someone wearing a high-vis who's volunteering, or you see someone behind the bar, please say thank you to them. Maybe buy them a drink if you can, and shake their hand, and they'll, it'll be worth it for them. Thank you so much for coming. We'll see you again in two years. Also, special thanks to Will, who is sort of the uh, unofficial third director of EMF, but will be becoming <laughs> official. So, you know, it's, uh, um, tradition, tradition requires me to stand here with a pint glass. <laughs> <laughs> so, thank you so much, everyone. Please go to the bar.